guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are joining us for the first time, my name is Aboshi Marian and I'm the lead photographer at Mimi Creation Studios, Lagos, Nigeria. To my already existing subscribers, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing and I hope that you've been learning one or two things from the videos that I've been creating for you. Thank you so much. Today, I'm going to share five tips to consider when doing newborn photography. Thank you and enjoy. your newborn shoot ahead of time and discuss parents expectations for their baby shoots sometimes parents have reference images that they would like the photographer to recreate so it would be nice to discuss ahead of time and discuss the possibilities of having certain poses at certain age of the child second tip prepare ahead for the shoot so if you if you are working with a certain idea that will require you to have certain props in place, certain wraps in place, certain colors that you want to play around with for the child shoot, it's advisable to prepare ahead. But also be flexible because babies differ. You can have your newborn, let, your, let the baby that you're shooting at that particular time inspire you on what poses to do on, or on how the session is going to unfold. So don't be rigid, be flexible and be open to new ideas aside what you have prepared for the child. Tip number three, advise the baby parent to keep the child awake before the shoot. So if the shoot is say for 10 o'clock in the morning, it's advisable for the child to have been awake since about seven to eight o'clock. So that when the child comes into the studio, there's possibility of the child sleeping. So we, for newborn photography, we get very cuddly and nice images when the child is asleep. But if you bring a sleeping baby in and during the process of wrapping or prepping the baby for the shoot, the baby wakes up. It's more difficult to achieve those very yummy, cuddly images that we all want for our babies. So let's keep our babies awake before the session time. Tip number four, be mindful of your aperture. So for newborn photography, it's, it's usually nicer to shoot at an open aperture. If your lens permits you to shoot at one po between 1.2 to 2.0 aperture, it's advisable to shoot at that aperture because it gives you a lot of depth of field and then you have so much softness going on around the baby, creating so much appeal to your client or to anybody who is going to view the image. Tip number five, which I even consider a very important tip, is that you should always play safe. Be safe, regardless of what pose, of what creativity you are trying to achieve, of what wrapping styles or, or baby pose that you have pre-planned to do. Always make sure that you put safety first. If your baby is not comfortable doing that particular pose, cease to do it. It's not compulsory that you achieve that particular pose. The bottom line is that you get amazing images and the baby is safe and comfortable in the process. So always make sure that your baby is safe, your, your wraps, your gadgets, everything that you are using around the baby is safe and your baby is comfortable throughout the shooting process. Okay, so sit back and enjoy the behind the scene video of a baby shoot that we did recently.
watching this video please do not forget to subscribe to this channel turn on your notification and keep liking these videos as we create more content for you to learn from thank you so much i love you all Mwah.